basketball player on the floor in this series. You talk about Zach Randolph, his ability to make plays, not a big time jumper, but negates the jumping ability of the defender by taking it to his body. Has a knack to score the basketball, even though undersized at times. Once again, you see that strength, just a little love to Tim Duncan, eliminating him from the picture. It's a clear path to the hoop. And then when he faces up, a nightmare to defend. The ability to score the basketball. And there once was a time as he tells the crowd, shut up, where he was a black hole, where he would not pass the basketball. 18 assists in this series have become the consummate team play. Randolph has been just superb all series long for Memphis, but he's not the only one. That helped throughout the round. Allen to Randolph on the trail. Second effort is good. Allen, Randolph the rebound. Back up and in. Splitter against Randolph. Falling away. Well, he's, you can tell he's got the adrenaline flowing. Allen inside. Randolph banks it in. Grizz from Memphis to start this game. Zach Randolph on the offensive end. Misses it, but eliminates Tim Duncan from getting the rebound. And then, once again, takes it to his body, the ability to finish in the paint area. Total domination for Zemo. Four right now for Memphis. Young for three. That's good. They have shot the ball well. Making great decisions with the ball in his hands. Falls back. In and out, and in again. Well, Zach Randolph so good on the block. Doesn't matter whether he catches it deep or not. Has the ability to post you and also face you. That's a big time play. Step back, knockdown jump. Coming up on the Toyota Halftime Show. Zach Randolph has been huge for Memphis once again. Simple game when it's one on one. Step back, once again, using that upper body strength, wide open look. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's your world. When you've got three guys defending you, one, two, three, kick the basketball. Unselfish play, makes the right play, gets a teammate an open look. Zach, at one point you had a 16-4 lead, and for much of this half it felt like your team was in control, but what allowed the Spurs back in it? I mean, we just got to take care of the ball. You know, we, we turn the ball over. Um, you know, it's a good team, so, you know, they're going to come back, but we just got to keep on fighting. Um, keep playing our style of basketball and get stops. Mike Conley had logged such heavy minutes throughout the course of this series. How important was Mr. Vasquez's uh, response here in the first half? Vasquez did great, man. You know, I got told him this is the opportunity. He got to take advantage of it and be ready to play. He certainly was. Zach, thank you. Mike? All right, Doris, the big early lead. You knew the Spurs would bounce back. And here at halftime, we've got a three-point game. The Toyota Halftime Show is coming up. We'll preview that. Big matchup that starts Sunday from Miami. Young, nice save. Randolph gets inside, tries to draw the foul. Quick second effort. <laughs> he doesn't get up very high, but he's got amazing hands. I tell you, he's on a great career, an all-time great individual, he's trying to give his team life. Randolph gets inside. Oh, he faces up and he drives it hard. That's just a big time shot. You'd rather Randolph be going to his right hand. And when he puts that down, I think a perimeter player has to be in front of him. They have to be attacking the dribble and see if he will pass it off the dribble. in that period and for stretches dominated. How do you keep him under control in the fourth? Well, he made shots, and once he starts making shots, uh, it's a struggle. Zero. Randolph, double, gets it to Allen. Tony Allen with the finish. What a game for Allen at both ends of the floor. Back out Hill. Hill for three. Way off the mark. An air ball. Vasquez ahead to Randolph. Randolph up and under. Going crazy, air ball, a contest by Zach Randolph, off to the races. One on one with Ginobili, take advantage, bad defense. Griffin's shooting has hurt them the last couple minutes. So he's taken him out and put in OJ Mayo as Zach Randolph. Randolph, the dice all over him, tough shot. That's good! Zach Randolph at a 6 0 run. Chris 
Grizzlies back up by five. It's real simple right now for the Grizzlies. Get that ball to Zach Randolph. Give him some room. Great defense by McDice. An incredible make by Randolph. 20. Randolph calling for the ball. Makes his move. Pull up jump shot. It's good. Zach Randolph does it again. This is creating a nightmare for the San Antonio Spurs. Here they try to front him, and because of the extra help Neal has, it creates the open shot for Sam Young. And then when he's doubled, he's now a willing passer, and he gives, they give up a cut to Tony Allen. And then if you don't double him, he goes to work. Now, I'm telling you, this is great defense by Antonio McDice, but even better offense by the powerful Zach Randolph. Randolph has said the city of Memphis has embraced him. Boy, <laughs> they couldn't have gained five in San Antonio on Wednesday. Randolph doubled. Shot clock at four. Randolph puts it up, puts it in. Nine point lead. If you're just tuning in, it's been the Zebo show. Does not matter who's guarding him, I'll take great offense over great defense any day of the week. Putting on a clinic to seal the deal. You're talking about tough plays to make down the stretch. Zach Randolph has made them in a variety of ways. 14 points in the fourth quarter, 28 for the game to go along with the... A brilliant performance from Zach Randolph on the offensive end. Randolph and his teammates, great defense all night long, led by Tony Allen. 28.5 seconds away from the second round. <laughs> 30 points for Randolph, 16 of them here in this fourth quarter. I know Holland just wants to see the clock here go quick enough if you're a coach, Jeff, right? And he's already going to be thinking by the time he hits the locker room. Zach Randolph, the Spurs played, the Spurs played with the character of a four-time champion. But from the outset of this series, you guys let it known you were a team to be reckoned with. How did you beat the number one seed? I mean, we've been playing good basketball. We're a good team. We don't get a lot of TV games, so a lot of people don't get to see us play. But we're a good team. We work hard. We got young players that like to play. And uh, we, we reckon with it. Jeff and Mark were talking about the fact that you're a great offensive player without being an explosive athlete. You had 16 points in the fourth quarter. What allowed you to be effective down the stretch? I just that's felt like I could take over the game. You know, I just wanted to get the ball in my hands and get to the paint and get good shots and just be aggressive. You talked a little bit earlier about this being a city that has embraced you. Your career has not always been a smooth one. What is it about this city and this team that has allowed you to thrive? I mean, I love this city, man. They love me back, you know what I'm saying? So it's good. It's a blue-collar town. I'm a blue-collar player, a hard worker, and it's, and, and it's the same way with the town, you know. Ain't nothing been given easy to me. It ain't nothing given easy to this town, so it's, it's a fit. Congratulations, Zach, right. Mike. All right, Doris, they're going to love him back even more. He says they don't get many TV games. They've got some TV games coming up, including Sunday on ABC in the Western Conference semifinals. They'll start off the